Hedwig, what on earth is that? I don't know, that little scrotum hobbit just came in and started bouncing around. Watch out, mate, I only hooted twice, now I'm in this cage. Dobby, sir. Dobby the house elf. My guy, you can't be here, you've got to leave. But Mr. Harry Potter, I need to give you the lowdown. Okay, quick then, sit down. <laughs> I've never been asked to sit down by a wizard. Wow, you must know a lot of douchebags. Yes, sir. You do working for Legally Blonde and his skunk-haired wife. And their home alone looking receding hairline twerp of a son. Who cries himself to sleep and still wets the bed. No clue who that is. <gasps> that was an awful thing to say. Ban to me, ban! The saggy gremlin has psychological problems. We shouldn't trust him, Harry. He's not loyal. Whereas I would die for you. Let me out of this cage. I'd die for Harry Potter as well. <laughs> I doubt it. He's my best friend. If anyone's going to die for him, it's going to be me. No. I bet I do it first. Stop it, guys. Nobody's dying for me. Ban to me, ban! Oh my god, shut up! Bad dummy! Bad! Bad! Ah, uh, don't mind that. That's just the, uh, cat. Oh. Harry Potter must not go back to school. There is a plot. What kind of plot? Who's plotting it? Dobby can't say. <laughs> okay, okay, my bad. Sorry. Bad dummy! Bad! Let go of the lamp! <gasps> Dobby, get in the cupboard! Get in the cupboard quick! What are you doing in here? You've ruined the punchline of my Japanese golfer joke. Probably a good job, Uncle Vernon. It's pretty racist. It's not... Yeah, not ideal. Be quiet, or you're going back in the cupboard. With Dobby. Sure. Dobby, Hogwarts is my home. It's where my friends are. Friends who ghost your letters because you're a specky loser. Wait, how do you know that? Well, I... Oh, where did you get those from? I didn't see a pocket. I said the grotty gremlin couldn't be trusted. Kick him to the curb, Harry. And let me out of this cage. <sighs> Give me those, now. No! Bye! Naruto, run. <gasps> Promise, sir. Say that Mr. Harry Potter will not return to Hogwarts school. Oh, for some reason I just can't lie to strangers, no! Well then, Dobby must ruin your life, sir. For Harry Potter's own good. I'm gonna slap you. Ow! It's just like being at home. Maybe you ain't all that. <gasps> no, 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 no. <gasps> and now I'll just drop it like it's hot. Wow. It's my nephew is very disturbed. Meeting strangers upsets him. That's why we locked him upstairs. You're not making yourself look better, sir. <laughs> it's not even tasty. You take that back. Never gonna see those freaky friends of yours again. Never! Why are you so obsessed with me? Shut up. Well, that's just great. Now I'm in a cage within a cage. <sighs> Bloody hell. Hedwig, do you hear that? It sounds a bit like pubescent gingers in a flying car. Pardon? All right, Harry. What are you guys doing here? Rescuing you, of course. Oh, great. We're all doomed. Better stand back. Bang! Potter! Quick, 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 quick. This is banter. In it? No, I bet none of them have licenses, Harry. Come on, Hedwig. Tangerine boy, I swear to God, if you drop me, I will peck off your face. A junior, he's escaping. Ah, oh, get off. Oh, no, you don't. You and that bloody pigeon aren't going anywhere. Did that walrus just call me a pigeon? Let me out of this cage. <laughs> Petunia, I've solved myself. <laughs> they were starving him, Mum. There were bars on his window. Well, you best hope I don't put bars on your window, Ronald Weasley. Harry, time for a spot of breakfast. Mummy, have you seen my jumper? Yes, dear, it was on the cat. McGonagall. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Morning, Weasley. I'm Raids. No, you're not Ginger. The heck is this? Oh, I'm Harry, sir. Harry Potter. Shut up. Show me your scar. <laughs> Your sons flew that enchanted car of yours to Surrey and back last night. Oh, Arthur. Very wrong indeed, boys. Very wrong. Is that good? Yes. <laughs> Incoming! Clear the runway! Ah, I'm dead. I'm alive, but I'm dead. Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Oh, are you jealous? <laughs> Idiot. Leave him alone. Oh, look, Potter. Got yourself a girlfriend. Uh, do you want to take this outside? Oh, thank you. What a freak. No, no, Draco. Play nicely. Lucius Malfoy. Just what I need right now. Perfect. Forgive me. Stranger danger, he's touching me. Your scar is legend. Your breath isn't great. As of course is the wizard who gave it to you. Oh, what Voldemort? Yeah, smashed him up when I was baby. Brave of you to say his name. Fear of the name only increases fear of the thing itself. See, I told you she was annoying. Miss Granger, Draco's told me all about you and your... <laughs> Muggle. Oh, 
appearance. Sorry, rubber ducks, talk to me. Grubby, red hair, vacant expressions. <clears throat> you must be the Weasleys. I'm gonna bitch slap him right now, I don't even care. Everything all right? Ah, Weasley Senior. Becky with the good hair, nice to see you. Ah, you think you can read me looking like that, do you? You're poor. Ha, really poor. Are you capable of a single original thought? Shut up. He's going on about how he's rich, but he's stealing my book. Oh, of course. Here you go. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. That's kind of weird. We know your hair's a wig. See you at work. Yay. See you at school. All right, baby Becky, jog on. At least I have a dad. <laughs> right then, Ginny. Ginny, stop staring at Harry. <laughs> they grow up so fast. All right, let's go. Oh, I can't wait to get to the owl car and tell Jemima about the summer I've had. Honestly, it couldn't get much worse. <laughs> Oh, good lord, are my wings broken? What about my legs? Hedwig, please calm down. Throw me headfirst into a wall and tell me to calm down, you little... Oi, what are you doing? Sorry, lost control of the trolley. Is that an owl? A concussed owl, yes. Mind the gap, see you later. My beak looks flat, I've got Voldemort beak. Your beak's fine. Ron, the train leaves at exactly 11 o'clock, we've missed it. What do we do? I suppose we just wait for your parents. Then we could flew to Hogwarts or side along apparate to Hogsmeade and walk. Yeah, we steal the car. What? What? In my mum's car. Broom, broom. Ronald Weasley, get out my car! No. Do you have any idea how serious this is? Kind of serious. Quite serious. Dead. Serious. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. You should both be expelled. Oh my god's party in the dungeon and we weren't invited. Minerva, how do you feel? Not that bad, honestly. The dungeon's pretty skanky. Oh, oh baby girl! I didn't realise that you died and left Gryffindor to Severus. Hey, no, how tragic. What song do you want me to play at your funeral? Who run the world, girls? Who run the world, girls? Oh, I love Beyonce. These boys have broken the law. Sorry, whose school is it? Not school rules, Albus. The law. Answer the question, whose school? Your school. Oh, is it? Didn't realise. Well, since I'm the law in these walls, it's my nervous choice what happens. What you've both done is very serious. You will receive detention and I will deduct. We haven't got any house points yet, Minerva. Don't put us in negative. <laughs> the detention's going to be real bad. Ron, is that your owl? Incoming! Clear the runway! Ah! Bloody birds are menace. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. No, no, false alarm. I'm fine. Well, that was embarrassing. Ha, <laughs> it's about to get worse. What does that mean? Ronald Weasley! How dare you steal that car? Minerva, Minerva, Helena! Sit down! For God's sake, man! Oh, kill me now! I am absolutely disgusted! Your father's not facing an inquiry at work, and it's entirely your fault! Oh my God, so embarrassing! If you put another toe out of line, we'll bring you straight home! To be fair, that is proper embarrassing. Social suicide, more like! Oh, and Ginny, dear, congratulations on making Gryffindor. Your father and I are so proud. <laughs> that money's as good as in my pocket! <laughs> Not true. Look at Hermione's face. <laughs> Mandrake, or Mandragora, is used to return those who have been petrified to their original state. Oh my days, do people really still get petrified in this day and age? What is the world coming to? It's also quite dangerous. Of course it is. The Mandrake's cry is fatal to anyone who hears it. Ten points to Gryffindor. You've all been given a pair of earmuffs for auditory protection. Sorry, what? You've been given earmuffs for auditory protection. You've got an infection. Lavender, what does she say? What? Grasp your mandrake firmly. Pull it sharply out of the pot. I am Groot. Ah! Ah! Oh, no, baby Groot just Thanos Neville. Ha! No, ma'am. It's just... Nobody cares. Just leave him there. Neglect. Right, plenty of pots to go around. I am Groot. You are minging. Groot. Bushy hair. Ah, Ugly. I Wanna die when it talks. It's Granger. Uh -huh. <sighs> Ow! Wait till my father hears about this. Bleh. <laughs> Ron said. Who was Ron trying to curse anyway? Malfoy. He called Hermione a... Well, I don't really know what it means. That's surprising. <sighs> he called me a... A bushy-browed snaggletooth bookworm? No. Oh, a scruffy-looking McGonagall wannabe with a bird nest beehive. Hagrid. Bird nest? A squat, fugly munter with ugly school shoes. <laughs> a boy's worst nightmare who's never going on a second date? What? No! Oh! Did he point out the irony that both your parents are dentists and your teeth are still messed up? Hagrid! He called me a mudblood! Oh! 
What's well, obvious now you've said it. Could be worse though, Miney. He could have told you what your hair looks like from the back. What do you mean? Girl, it's an absolute disaster. It looks worse than mine. <laughs> Don't you cry, Hermione. Malfoy's not worth it. Whoa, what happened? Hello? Ha oh, hi. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Are you deaf? Super job, guys. If you could just carry that discreetly through the middle of the school, that would be great. Thanks. That's unfortunate. Oh, hey, conundrum. What are you doing down there? It's riddle, sir. Of course it is, puzzle. Up you come. I should have expected this typical Slytherin behaviour. If you'd have just been patient, you'd have seen the body when I sent it through all the common rooms. I had to see for myself if the rumours were true. I have no idea who started those rumours, but they're so true. And the school? Will it close? Probably. I'm an orphan. I've got nowhere to... It's all me, me, me with you, isn't it, Tom? There's loads of orphans, but there's only one Dumbledore. I'm gonna lose my job. And if the person behind these attacks was caught... <gasps> do you know something? Oh my god, you do tell me what you know. I promise I won't tell anyone. Nothing, sir. Go to bed, you little snake. And 50 points from Slytherin for teasing me like that. All right, Tom. That is one big 13-year-old. Hagrid, a girl is dead. I have to turn you in. It weren't Aragog. It wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, it would hurt a fly, actually. That was a bad choice of words. Step aside, Hagrid. No, Tom. He's a good boy. Hagrid, you're my best friend in the entire world. I love you. See? You leave me no choice. Oh, my God, no! Hagrid, you see this guy? He just blew up my house. Ugh. No one appreciates me. I'm going to go to the forest, build myself a big house. And don't leave Hagrid. Aronia Hagrid's XMA. Ooh! You are going to regret this day, I swear to God. Aragog, no. I am definitely leaving this place a bad review on TripAdvisor. Your monster killed someone, Hagrid. You'll be expelled for this. Unless we meet Dumbledore on the way, then you'll just get detention. Hagrid, wait, why am I moving? Hagrid! Ah! The match has been cancelled. You can't cancel Quidditch. Silence, Wood. You will return to your dormitories at once. Potter, let's find Mr. Weasley. There's something you two need to see. Oh, sick, a surprise. I hope there's cake. Ron will really like it if there's cake. This may come as a wee bit of a shock. <sighs> a wee bit of a shock? Are you on drugs? Yeah, Professor, that's messed up. Why didn't you break it gently? Wee bit of a shock. What's wrong with you? Uh, I can see in hindsight that that probably wasn't the best description to give you. Sorry. Maybe quite a shock or a reasonably large one. Really thought there was going to be cake or something. Dumbledore would have given us cake. Uh. So I've just finished the decorations for Pride Month. What does everybody think? Oh, it does look wonderful. Of course it does. I have flair for interior design. I think it's lovely, but... <gasps> of all the people to be a little Judas, Minerva, I didn't expect it to be you. I'm not being a Judas. I think the decorations are great. I just think you shouldn't have put all that glitter in the Black Leak. Why not? It looks incredible. It's given the giant squid an eye infection. Well, that seems pretty homophobic. Hell, but she only has one eye. She's got to take care of it. Fine, I'll buy her some goggles. Also, did you ask the merfolk before you did that? Oh, now you're just being silly, Minerva. As far as magical creatures go, mermaids are right up there with fairies and unicorns. Of course they wanted glitter in the lake. Albus, what the heck have you done? Oh, Seb, you look great. <laughs> Calm down, Ron. Hagrid wouldn't have sent us if it wasn't safe. That is the biggest pile of bollocks and you know it. Fair point, sorry, mate. <gasps> ah! Oh my god, excuse me, what are you doing in my house? Ricky, do you know these twiglers? Samantha, you know this crying ginger and his specky friend? They even brought a dog with them. Woof, that dog is messed up. You shut your baggy face. How long you waited the pound before Hagrid took pity on you? If anyone ugly here is you, you ain't even got pincers. I could have pincers if I want. I'm a good boy. Sorry, sir. We just wanted to know if you were the monster in the Chamber of Secrets. Oh, so you're trespassing. Your dog called me ugly and now you're going to call me a monster. I am very handsome for a spider, you know. I got side chicks on side chicks. Isn't that right, Helen? She's not around right now, but I do. We're sorry. We'll just go. Oh, don't be silly. You ain't going nowhere. You can run, run as fast as you can, but we're going to catch you, Mr. Gingerbread Man. It's my favorite spice. Can we panic now? Hello? Ah! Ginny. Ginny, please don't be dead. Wake up. Wake up. Blech. She won't wake. Oh, Tom Riddle. Great. Do you want to call an ambulance or get help or something? Nah. Bit sketch. Well then, I'll get some help. That's my wand. Yes. Nice Phoenix call. Oh, thanks. But give me my wand, Tom. You won't be needing it. Yeah, actually, there's a basilisk, so I think I might. It won't come until it's called. You're getting more and more sketchy by the minute. I'm going to go get help. You can't do that. As poor Ginny grows weaker. I grow stronger. What? 
It was Ginny who opened the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> Ginny Weasley who set the basilisks on the mudbloods and Filch's cat. <laughs> Ginny who wrote the threatening messages on the wall. <laughs> That's weird. Why? Because I told her to. I can be very persuasive. Well, you can't be that good. You got yeeted into a toilet. Wasn't my finest moment. No! Oh. Then I showed you the capture of that brainless oaf Hagrid to gain your trust. Me and Hagrid are broskies, and you framed him, didn't you? Only Dumbledore seemed to think he was innocent. He kept an annoyingly close watch on me after that. Hey, Tom, what are you doing? Hey, Thomas the Tank Engine, what are you up to? Tommy! Hey, Tom, 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 there's something going on in the boathouse. You really need to see it. Yeah, Dumbledore's really smart. I bet he saw right through you. Thongs! I feel like somebody just said something really nice about me. You should go and check it out. Take Hattie with you. Kaka! Report back. Tell me everything. But why are you doing this? Tom, Marvolo, Riddle, all right. I am Lord... Oh, <gasps> snap! Yes. Seems a shame. You could have had mild doormat lover. Or immortal lover, Rod. Oh, mum dildo ant lover. Stop it. Kaka! Huh? Oh my god, now it's a party. Enough. <laughs> Naruto, run! Tom! It's only obeys me. It? Tom! So, eat him. Yes. Thing is, he just doesn't look that tasty, if I'm honest. Not tasty, not tasty at all. I haven't bathed in weeks. Ooh. Eat him! All right. Haven't even visited me in ages. Now you're talking to me like that. It's just a bit trash, all right? Kaka! Kaka! Oh my god, a bird! I haven't seen a bird in ages. In fact, I haven't seen the sky in ages. You never take me anywhere. Hey, little bird, do you want to be friends? Oh my god, what are you oh, doing? My voice? Ah! No! Your bird may have blinded the basilisk, but it can still hear you. Tom, I've been blind for two seconds. You can't give me a minute. This hurts so freaking bad. I'm scared of the dark. God, you're letting the side down. Come on. Do you see how he treats me? Yeah, I'm sorry. I've not known you long, but I do think you deserve better. I've tried telling him that, but he's just so self-absorbed. Like, Chamber of Secrets, it's no secret, he's a dick. After I eat you, I'm gonna leave him. He left me here in a smelly old sewer. Doesn't come to visit me for 50 years. And then he just turns up and expects me to clean up his mess. What am I, his mother? Phew. Ginny. Ginny, get up, I'm not playing. We've gotta go. This basilisk has serious problems. Hey, kid, you wanna take a weapon from my butt? Ugh. Take it or leave it, I don't care. I can't find him anywhere! Naruto, run! Look, there he is! Did you just tell me to look? She's blind! Thank you, even I can see that's insensitive! Kids, cut me some slack, okay? Stay still so I can eat you! I don't want to do that, I'm sorry! Please! Ow! Tom, I smashed my nose! You don't need it, come on! That's easy for you to say! You've got a great nose! Right! Ah! I'm really sorry! Nope. Oh. oh, my arm's really stinging. In just a few moments, you and Ginny will be dead, and I will be... What are you doing? Stabbing the book. No! <coughs> oh, oh! <coughs> my nose! <coughs> Murder at school, second year in a row. Yeah! And nobody. Dumbledore would be proud. <gasps> Harry, it was me. I did everything. Riddle made me. No. Ouch. Sorry, I've just, um, I've been through quite a lot. Probably about to die, and it wasn't your fault anyway. You were all... <laughs> yeah. Kaka, kaka! Kaka, kaka! Kaka! You were brilliant, folks. I just wasn't quick enough. Kaka, kaka! <gasps> Whoa! It's all gonna be alright, Ginny. It's just a memory. Amazing! This is just like magic! <laughs> you alright? As long as I'm with you. <gasps> kaka! Sir, you're really going to let him throat cane me like this? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I? So it's true. You have returned. Nice of you to drop in, Dolly Parton, because we've got to have a talk. Obviously, I've been living in your head rent free. You've been running your mouth, trying to get me fired, threatening people, you little snake. Ridiculous. Well, the jig's up, Regina George. We've got your burn book. It's not mine. The culprit is... Mash up, mate, thanks to Harry Potter. Basilisk fang, straight to the face. You don't mess with a Hogwarts crew. Thug life will destroy you. <sighs> So, pound shop Legolas, anything else to add or we good? Slander, I'll sue you. All right, L. Woods, knock yourself out. <laughs> Let's hope Harry Potter will always be around to save the day. Yeah? And what? That's my boy! Come, Dobby, we're leaving. Master Harry Potter! Arr!
Oh, we can't have that. The car! The car! Sir, could I have that book, please? Oh, are you following him outside? Can I come? Or is that a bit bait? Quite bait, yeah. Damn it! Talk loud, yeah? Mr. Malfoy! Mr. Malfoy! Becky with the good hair! Oh, yeah, you turned around for that one, didn't you, Paris Hilton? Cocky. For a grubby orphan, you're spending too much time with Dumbledore. I am getting an intense lust for drama. But anyway, I know your game. You did the oldest trick in the book, didn't you? The classic nifty shifty. What? You swished those luscious locks like a L'Oreal advert to distract us while you put the book in Ginny Weasley's cauldron. No. It's a wig. Shut up. I'm going to beat you so badly when we get home. Toppy, open the book. Read at a time like this. I'm about to get beaten. Read the stupid... <gasps> Dobby! Master had given Dobby a sock! What? I didn't give you a- Master's presented Dobby with clothes! Dobby is free! You lost me, my servant! It's Britney, bitch. Uh, it's killed me! It's killed me! Next time, I'll shave you like a sheep. Best friend, Harry Potter! That's great, Dobby. Because I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. Harry! It's Amani! I can move my arms and legs again. Petrified, were you? I know how that feels. So next year, can I help in choosing the defense against the d- Oh, shut up. Look, Hermione's back. Oh, I can barely see. Oh, that's better. Harry. We really missed you, Hermione. Oh, my God, I'm going to cry. They're so cute. Oh, it is great, sweet. Oh, my God, she's letting go. She's- Oh, oh. Yes, you are going down. We're going to go down, down, down. Double or nothing. 80 galleons. You know nothing about human beings. I'll take that bit. What do you mean? I know about these things. If she doesn't want to hug him now while he's a Satsuma, she's not going to want to hug him when he's a pumpkin. Anyway, everyone sit down. I have an announcement. I'm about to come into some money and I'm pretty happy about it. So exams have been cancelled. What? A's for Gryffindors, C's for Slytherins. What about the rest? The rest of what? The other two houses. Who? Huh? 